Hey everyone, and welcome back uh, to part four of my playthrough of Full Throttle Remastered. Uh, we last left off here in, uh, I think it's called the Kickstand, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna talk to these fine gents and see what they have to say. Oh, or I could just kick them. Let's talk to them first. Uh, <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. Not gonna happen. <clears throat> uh, so it must be his truck, because this guy didn't have a truck. Uh, let me... Yeah, seems you have a lot of time on your hands, but let's see if we can do it. Let me show you how to do I'm that. I'm always good at this Not in Red Dead Redemption. Ahead. Oh, come on. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> <clears throat> Am I distracting you? <laughs> do you think so? <laughs> Okay. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around and said police business only. Pigs. When this guy talks, there's a weird little animation glitch down here. Um. Oh, that buzzing is the TV. I thought that was something in my house. Um. So. I feel like we need to distract him somehow so he gets himself, but I don't know if... I don't know. Um, I'll try Look, this. I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. The music cut out at a really weird spot. I just killed the guy. I just killed a guy. I mean, I'm just about to. You're being framed for it. Um, I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. Huh. Let me show you how to do that. Not yeah, going okay, to so Good talking to you. probably need to, like, punch Friendly him. Friendly folks you get in here. Emmett's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quahog. In Family Guy, they say Quahog, so... Is it like how some people say Quebec, but the right way to say it is Quebec? I don't know. Anyways. Um, so let's... No, wait. Come over here. Let's give him a boot. He's got a knife. We have a picture. <laughs> we can give him a nasty paper cut. Um, he doesn't look happy. He's got a knife. Oh, we could like arm wrestle or something. All right, we'll talk to this guy. This guy, um... He kind of sounds like the guy that operates the Kono tragedy in Sam and Max. It could be the same voice actor. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you, I don't want to get involved. Alright. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you, I don't want to get involved. So I can't beat him up? Oh. Hmm. It's empty, don't get any ideas. Okay, and then there's the boozes. Oh. I want to see what this looks like. So I just got to pull out my keyboard. Uh. Eh. Okay. Um. Can we take this? Its little feet are nailed to the piano. All right. The monitor doesn't have any controls. What is this? It looks like a little puppy being held by the neck or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. All right, we'll we'll be back. We'll come back. Oh, I was wondering something. Options, controls. Oh wait, that's not the right spot. Settings. Uh. Okay, what are the old controls like? Back. Resume. Is it the same? What? Oh, you just click and hold. That's the difference. I'll put it back the way it was. Alright. Yeah, okay. I've had this song kind of stuck in my head from listening to it while I'm editing my videos. <laughs> it's just the beginning of the song. 
Alright, let's go this way. So, can we mess up his truck? It's really quiet. Look, I really need a ride. Kick it. Look, I really need a ride. What's wrong with your bike? Like, you think you could maybe, like, off-road or something and sneak by. Okay, I'll go this way. Back to the town? Okay. So, Mo is gone. We knocked out Todd. Um, I guess we'll go to Todd's, though. Okay. Maybe we'll see if we can talk to him. I think he's had enough. I'm not putting my lips on that. Well, I don't want you to kiss him. Um, I think we need to find a knife or something. And there could be a knife downstairs here, but I don't, don't want to check right now. Go here. Can we go up now? Probably not. Don't think so. Okay. Um. Let's leave. Anything at Moe's? Anything here? Anything that looks like a knife, maybe? There's a toaster. Wish we could get in here, but we can't. Hmm. Okay. Still doesn't look like anything's going on with the mailbox, but I want to close it again. Okay. So, I can't remember what happened. Did I just talk to the gang over here? Or I just went to a cutscene and then I don't know what happened after that. It's like a, a weird square. So much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. Uh oh. Hmm. Let's go to the junkyard. Wait, can we? Oh no, we don't have our lock pick anymore. I was like, can we get the lock back and use that for something? But no. Maybe we'll show him this. Ever hear of this place, Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch? Well, uh, I remember it used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway Nine on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. Okay, can you take us? I need to get to this place, Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty at night. How poetic. Okay. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Good talking to you. Well, that didn't really do anything. Kick the piano. Play. Ooh. Okay. Play. Okay, it just does the same thing. High kicking was never my move. of the Polecat gang are in custody, but their leader remains at large. Authorities have issued an all-points bulletin. They got the Polecats. High kicking was never my move. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Yeah, the signal was piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. 
I'm not putting my lips on that. Latest reports suggest that the leader of the Polecats may have had an accomplice, a young mechanic. Maureen. The two are being sought by authorities for questioning in connection with the violent death of motorcycle magnate Malcolm Corley. Am I supposed to just keep Asked about the, the TV? eminent shareholders meeting, Corley Motors Vice President Adrian Ripberger made the following statement. We cannot in good conscience go forward with the shareholders meeting until the perpetrators of this misdeed have been brought to justice. He's up to something. He wants us dead before the meeting starts. Mm -hmm. Authorities are still seeking the leader of the Polecats and his accomplice, both thought to be armed and dangerous. Oh my god. Oh my god. This stupid little arrow. Psst. No. Psst. Psst. I kind of just want to leave her back there. Psst. So I. Over here! I got a little bit of a hint hey. as to what to do, but I was like, I thought I tried that, but. Anyways. Hey. What? I'm not putting my lips on that. Ben, no time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They'd kill me! Get my editor! He's gotta get me out of this! Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks! That's a lot of fake IDs. My career is riding on those pictures! Help me, Ben! You're my only hope! Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. Star Wars reference? If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Okay. Um... So yeah, I... thought that, like, earlier in the game, he could go this way, and he's like, that's where I just came from. That's where I came from. Nothing that way for me but a warrant. And I thought that was the garbage back here. But apparently there's a little arrow right here. Oh my god. Blah. Okay, I wandered around for like half an hour and I couldn't figure anything out. Alright. Pretty can, mediocre fake ID. Hope no one notices the correction fluid under the name. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Okay. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated Ew. fertilizer powder. Trust me, Ew. no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? That doesn't hey, look safe. I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the bed, Chunk. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. Mm -hmm. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Yeah, nobody wants Hope to you dig really through that. Get your man. <laughs> uh -uh. Stop moving. Wonder why. How did you come out from back there? You went in the front. Problem with your truck? Yeah, <laughs> loose hose and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. It's gonna be all stinky. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. Oh, 
least he took us right where we wanted to go. He didn't, uh -oh. like, leave us by the side of the road. He did have a fuel leak, and uh, he took my uh, fuel line to fix it. That uh, trucker's gonna die for what he did. And I was just saying he was alright. Piece of crap. Okay, there's an arrow here. But I probably can't go that way. Unless it's for right here. Let's bang on the door. Oh, boy. The barn's locked. This is uh, quite the little stairway they got going on here. Could you walk any slower? Okay. This hair? Or the mink fur, I guess? Looks like a mink pelt. It looks like ponytails. Okay. Tough looking padlock. Oh, and I don't have my lock I don't have pick. anything. I couldn't break that lock. Kick it. I couldn't break that lock. Why did I don't you get... have anything. Oh, why did you get rid of your lockpick, though? I'm not putting my lips on that. There's a picture of Maureen and Malcolm. Looks like they're restoring an old hardtail together. Can I take any No pictures? mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. Is this Uncle Pete's bed? Hmm. Ooh! Tire iron. Tire iron. Uh... That's the insignia of the vultures. Ooh, I can't believe no. Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? Okay. Can I use this to open the trunk? Is that the Corley Motors logo thingy? Did it work? Ah, uh, junk. Damn and the it. hose I can use on my bike. I don't hey. think Mo would mind if I borrow them. She's okay. Go, go, go. He <laughs> didn't need to do that. Oh. Uh oh. We gotta ram him. Oh, I guess we're going in the semi truck. Oh, come back. Oh, it's a lizard. I feel like we should beat up the semi-truck guy. She took my booster fuel. Urgh. Why is she running from me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. See, this guy has no reason to try to get rid of us. Oh my god. Still that listen to this song. He's dead. Alright. That sign. That means uh, I'm oh, in you're in vulture cave territory? territory. Oh, cavefish. What's a cavefish? Uh oh. Uh -oh. That looks like such fish. a terrifying way to ride a bike. Like face first. Oh, you crash, you're dead. Yeah, go after him instead. Because at least the biker is here, not the truck driver. Ooh! <laughs> so dead! They look like the, the sand people from Star Wars. Oh. We're gonna have to jump it. This cargo is worthless. We have been tricked, my brothers. <laughs> Back to the cave. That's so weird. Uh-oh. Hmm. The place looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. So is this a bunch of fertilizer? Is that what this is? You don't step in it. Bam, 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 bam. 
Looks like Emmett dropped a load here. Ew. So, where are we going? Where'd he go? He, he just left. <laughs> he just, that's the end of the game. <laughs> he just left. Won't budge. Oh, okay. <laughs> That was a won't budge. That was a very long walk to do that. Won't budge. Okay, so I wasn't quite paying attention. Did we cross the bridge, or are I, we I on don't the other walk. side? Can we take some fertilizer? Uh, come back. Why does he need to walk all that way? Hmm. Okay. I'm no cowboy. Alright. See if we can do this. Please don't walk to the back again. Yay! We're gonna have like the uh, well, biggest that's all of wheel. Them. Can't on be the front. much holding that up now. Oh, okay. We're gonna make it fall down. I thought he was gonna like take the wheel and put it right here. <laughs> Such a gigantic wheel on your bike. Alright. Let's get out of here. Look at him run. Okay. Am I supposed to take an exit, I guess? Ah, cave fish. Or am I supposed to take, like, the last exit? What are we doing? I know we're trying to get those guys to, like... Oh, get back over here. Trying to get those guys to have the fertilizer fall on them or something. Ah. Hey, it's a bullcat! Hello? I haven't seen you since you retired from the bullcats. Oh. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. Um. Father Torque, I need your help there, Torque. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the polecats anymore. You are. You can Can't still you help. see I'm on permanent vacation? What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Uh... Any fighting tips, Torque? Ah, oh, Ben, who's tougher than you? Uh... What's up with those cave fish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. That's weird. <laughs> They're ugly mothers. Those rot wheelers are ugly suckers. Oh, they changed it. They're none too bright, either. I'm sure you can handle them. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Mm -hmm. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, it's about timing. Okay. How do the cave fish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. <laughs> kind of trippy, huh? Sounds like we could use some of those. You know any way around Boyahoga Gorge? Boyahoga? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. 
What's the matter? Don't like bridges? There is the no bridge. Up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cape fish got its ramp in their hideout, you know. Ooh, we are gonna jump it. Where is the cave fish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible unless you got those weird cave fish specs. Okay. Can't talk anymore, Ben. Eating too many bugs. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. I just realized that none of them are wearing helmets. Like, that's not safe. Oh, I saw somebody else. But I missed them. I gotta pay attention to what road I'm going down. Hmm. Um, okay, so that's the highway. Who are you? You don't look like a polecat. Um. Jesus. The crowd in the shovel face. Oops. Loser. Kick him. Slack jaw scissor. <laughs> oh, I got a new weapon. <laughs> 